Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video and today guys we're going to be taking a look at a budget deck I built today on PDCGO and that is a, a Lolan Ninetales GX budget deck. Now a lot of people who have made videos on Lolan Ninetales have kind of just made your standard very powerful way to play Lolan Ninetales, Tapu Lele, Shaman, whatever other cards they use in those decks. And you know I was like if I want to cover Lolan Ninetales is it kind of too late to be like well there's already a lot of Lolan Ninetales videos of like a really serious competitive version of the deck. So I was like well if I want to make a video on it I think either we'll wait for like a you know a Lolan Ninetales deck to do well at a tournament then I can cover it or I can make a budget version of the deck as my first way to cover Lolan Ninetales. Now, is this the best way to play it? Maybe. I mean, it is a budget deck, meaning, you know, a lot of cards are cheaper, but at the same time, it does its own thing. So, Lola Nine Tails is a very cool card. First thing you'll notice is it's got 210 HP for a GX, so it's got the same amount of HP as Lorange's GX. Um, it is a Stage 1 Pokemon, which is pretty nice. Now, you're probably like, well, why not play um, Flareon and Jolteon in this deck, then? Well, yeah, you don't really need them. Like, the thing is, is the attack Blizzard Edge, which does 160 um, that's 160 damage. That's gonna one-shot most of the time anyways. Um, you know, it's gonna one-shot a lot of stuff. It's gonna one-shot, you know, things for 160, like Vulcanians. But also, the fact is, if you put a Choice Ban or or play a Professor Kikui, you're just gonna knock him out and do 210 damage in total. Choice Ban, I think, gives Alola Ninetales Wizard Edge a lot more spunk. So I think Alola Ninetales is fine enough without the, um, Blareon and uh, Jolteon. I just, I don't really think they're that good. Um, you can always use a Lola Ninetales like a, uh, like a stage one kind of deck, which, you know, I, I've had some decks in mind. I was actually thinking of a deck today in class, um, how I can make like a cool Lola Ninetales stage one weird kind of deck. I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it later, but Lola Ninetales has some good traits. Its attacks are very good. Its first attack, Ice Blade, for DC, does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. I mean, not too terrible. 50 damage. Not really doing any magic numbers, like 60, which could one-shot, like, Rowlets and stuff, but... 50 damage isn't too bad. Um, it does soften them up for Blizzard Edge on the active, where, you know, for two waters and a colorless, you do 160 damage, and then you discard two energy from this Pokemon. That's fine, though, because we have Aqua Patch, and we also have a Rayquaza in the deck, which is what we used with the um, Silvaleo. Now, Alola Ninetales also has a GX attack, which is arguably one of the best GX attacks right now, if I'm going to be quite honest, like, it's better than a lot of others. It's Ice Path GX. It's basically the same thing as Damage Change. Move all damage counters from this Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's like they hit Alola Ninetales, you just Ice Path GX them, and you fully heal yourself, and you also put the damage right back onto the Pokemon that, you know, they hit you with, and probably knock them out, which makes your opponent not want to attack into Ninetales a lot of the time. And that could really be a great way to win a game, right? It's like if your opponent misses that one turn of damaging Nine Tails because they don't want to attack it and then walk into an ice path, well, there you go. So Lola Nine Tails has a lot of good things. It snipes, it one shots, and it completely just tanks, which is really cool. Um, so Lola Nine Tails is awesome. Um, now, what's the best way to run it? Well, I think the best way to run it is probably like maybe with Tapu Lele and stuff like the normal stuff. But again, we made a budget version of the deck. I want to try Alola Nine Tails out as a budget deck. Um, the first thing we got in here is Rayquaza. It's another card I made for a video, which I used it in Sogaleo. That was a really good video. You guys really liked that video. That did video did really well. Um, a lot of good comments from you guys. A lot of you guys really liked that video. Um, so thank you guys for that. Um, but yeah, Rayquaza is just a really good card. It's one of my favorite cards to come out of Guardians Rising. Like, there's a lot of ways you can play this card now. It's really nice to see a basic Pokemon work like Lorantis and Mega Manetric. So it's got the attack Turbo Storm for DC, which we do play for Ninetales, which means when you do do Ninetales Blizzard Edge, you can actually get rid of a DCE. Like, you don't have to get rid of the water energies. It says get rid of two energies, so you can just discard a double colorless energy. So that's really good. So it's got the attack Turbo Storm, where it does 30 for two, and then you put two basic from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. That's obviously what we're going to do when we do you know, Blizzard Edge, if we have to get rid of two waters, you know, we do that, and then, you know, we free retreat with Manaphy, we bring out Rayquaza sometimes, and we can Turbo Storm the energy back on, or use Aqua Patch, there's many options for that, but that's my favorite way, um, so that's why we got that, um, the other attacker we play is Glaceon, I was, you know, skeptical on putting this in, because Glaceon does kind of slow the game down a little bit, but you can actually use Second Bite more than Crystal Ray in a lot of situations, um, you're doing damage to them with a little Nine Tails for 50, which, you know, could work out perfectly um but also you can use it for crystal ray um now crystal ray i think kind of does slow the game down right you know what i mean 
Um, that's kind of why I don't really like the Glaceon. Um, I watched an Omnipoke video. He was covering, like, a Drampa Lapras deck, which was cool. And he mentioned, like, Glaceon kind of slows games down a little bit, which it is true, right? With this deck, you want to be, you know, doing a ton of damage and controlling your opponent. Um, and Glaceon kind of slows that down a little bit. Plus, you know, Lysander and Ranger is still a thing. Um, so I don't know if Glaceon is really that good. Um, but, it, you know, it is still decent anyways. We can use Crystal Ray. Crystal Ray with a Choice Band can, you know, start two-shotting, which is pretty good. Uh, we got two Mana Fees. I mean, we got Water Energy. Might as well use it. So we got our Water Pokemon tap for your tree cost. And we got a 2-2 Octillery line. It is a budget deck, so we got to play Octillery over at Rangaroo. It just also works with Water Types, since Octillery is a Water Type, meaning you can use it with Dive Ball. So, yeah, those are all the Pokemon that we got in the deck. I get oh, well, God, we can talk about Alolan Vulpix. Alolan Vulpix is very cool. It's got an attack which needs no energy. Beacon. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon and put them in your hand. That's really cool. Um, that can set you up perfectly sometimes. You can use Beacon, grab yourself like an Octillery and like a Alolan Ninetales for next turn. Beacon is a very good attack, so I guess that's something worth mentioning. Uh, going into our um, trainers, we got four Aqua Patch. This is another way we can build up Nine Tails quickly. After we do Blizzard Edge, we might actually be able to power up a Nine Tails on the bench if we do double Aqua Patch, which is really cool. So we can, you know, retreat for free with Mana Fee and then bring out that one that we Aqua Patch to and then just knock something out that way. So Aqua Patch is really good in this deck too. We got four of those. Even with Rayquaza, it still is nice to have all that synergy. Three Dive Balls. Um, Dive Balls is really good in this deck since we got mainly Water Pokemon except for our Rayquaza, so we are going to be running a two cop three copies of Die Balls in this deck. It's better than Ultra Ball, sometimes you don't want to do it, even though we do play two Ultra Balls. Uh, we do play two Field Blower. You know, Field Blower is great to get rid of opponent's stadiums, opponent's tool cards. I mean, you know, you're probably like, why not just play one tool? Field Blower, kind of like Tool Scrap or Megaphone. I think two is just a better way to play Field Blower, if I'm quite honest with you. I really like having the two in the deck. It really is nice. One Rescue Stretcher, it's better than Super Rod. We have ways to get energy back anyways via Aqua Patch and Rayquaza, so I don't really see a point in playing um, Super Rod in this deck, so I think Rescue Stretcher is better in this deck. I replace the Super Rod in a lot of situations. Um, its first effect can be very useful, like put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, that can be very good. Uh, or, you know, shuffle three Pokemon, like sometimes you just don't want energy back. Um, two Ultra Balls we do have in the deck also. Uh, we got three Dive Balls, but I will play two Ultras since it is a way to search at Rayquaza. And sometimes you do want to thin your hand down for Octillery, right? Like, that can always be a possibility. Four Via Seekers for the supporters we have. Uh, we do play a mix of one Brooklet Hill and one uh, Rough Seas. The reason I'm not only playing one Rough Seas is Rough Seas is just very popular right now. Like, there's a lot of water decks being played, so it's like people are already going to play Rough Seas. Um, Brooklet Hill is just a great stadium. You could probably use Brooklet Hill over Rough Seas if you really wanted to. Like, this stadium is just very, very nice. Um, it gets you a basic water Pokemon from your bench, uh, from your deck put on your bench. That's actually very good, so that can be a nice way to set up sometimes. One Hex Maniac, this is good to, you know, stall against uh, Volcanion. I mean, I'm saying Volcanion is going to one-shot Ninetales, but Hex Maniac against Volcanion is just very good, or if you need it against Decidueye Plume or any other deck that relies heavily on abilities, you do have one Hex Maniac. Two Lysander. Lysander is great with Alola Ninetales because you have Lysander something up, you Ice Path it. One of the big things in an Ice Path is, like, Shamans and stuff like that. It's one thing that uh, Damage Change Mewtwo did really good. Um, plus, you know, Lysander out something and then hit it with a Blizzard Edge seems good. Three ends for our draw support. We do play one of Kakui again. Having Ninetales do even more damage than any way we could is just very good. So Kakui is going to help us with that. Four Sycamore. So for draw support, we do play three Choice Bands. This is how our Ninetales is going to be able to do one shots a lot easier with Blizzard Edge. So we do need the three Choice Bands. Four DCEs. Four our Rayquaza. Four our Glaceon. And also for our Blizzard Edge. To, so you don't have to get rid of Waters. But, you know, getting rid of Waters is still good. And we have a total of eight basic Water Energy. I think that's a good Water Energy count for Ninetales. Seems pretty standard for most Ninetales decks uh, that I've seen right now. So yeah, this is the Ninetales budget deck here that I built for Pokemon Training Card Game Online. Again, I wanted to make a budget-friendly version of Ninetales instead of just using the same, you know, kind of competitive semi-thing of Ninetales. So yeah, let's go on into some matches with our Alola Ninetales budget deck. See if we can have some fun with it and uh, see if we don't have to play against Garbodor, you know what I mean? Yeah, see you guys in just a minute in the game. Alright guys, let's go find some matches with our budget Alola Ninetales GX deck and... Uh, yeah, boy, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, I got some more deck ideas in mind. I might honestly do a week of budget decks. I already have two more budget decks in mind to make videos on this week. So that's three budget decks, and I can do two more. But I still have to cover, I think, Drampa GX and Vikavolt and Sylveon. I think those are the only GXs. And Como, oh, whatever it's called. <laughs> Not GX, that sucks. Okay, we are playing against Trevenant, so that's going to be kind of painful. 
sort of painful, but we have Glaceon, which I think we can actually use. Uh, do we put Manaphy down? It's weak to water. Nah, Manaphy's weak to grass. I don't know if it's going to be worth it, to be honest with you. But, you know, at the very least, Glaceon is going to give us the win, I hope. Uh, unless this dude one-shots me in one turn with Trevenant, which, I mean, I don't think is possible. And he just immediately concedes. Um, thank you for the free 50 coins. Um, sure. I mean, he had a lot of outs, but I guess my opponent just didn't want to play that game out for some reason. I Did he even know I was playing Lola Ninetales? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I think that matchup would have been okay. Um, you know, with Glaceon, especially. But, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, the Guy Arcanine. That's actually a pretty sick name. Dark and Colorless. I think this is gonna be Turbo Dark without Hoopa. It might also be Eveltal Trampa, which is a deck I've been seeing pop up. Or it also could be, I don't know, like Zork. I don't know. It's definitely a Dark deck, though, that's for sure. No duh, but, like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. The Dark isn't just there to just, you know, be like a tech card here. You might be Sableye, too. I don't know. Could be Sableye Tauros Gumshoes. I mean, is that even a deck? Is that even a deck? But I guess we'll find out. Alright, are we going to get a good start? Okay. Uh, this hand's actually good. We can start with Rayquaza and use Ultra Ball and Aqua Patch. Uh, put Remory down. Yeah, it seems fine. Alright, we'll see what kind of deck we're playing against. It's either, like, I guess, like a Sableye deck, or it's going to be, like, Eveltal or Darkrai. Or it could be Umbreon, too. Yeah, it is going to be Umbreon. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't play hammers. That's one thing I'm praying he doesn't have. Uh, I think I'll, uh, I think we might have to just grab artillery. Ah, where's the supporter though? Hmm. Three ends, four sickos. Hmm. I might have to just grab artillery. If I'm to be quite honest, I think we have to grab artillery here. Because of the fact that our hand is kind of dead. We have no other way to draw cards. I mean, we could do beacon and, like, we could retreat and then go beacon. Grab the artillery for next turn. I want to get a Vulpix down. We'll risk it. Ugh, you know what? We're not going to play that many cards from my hand down anyways. You know, so. I feel fine just going like this and then passing. We'll pass. We'll pass a turn. I could have maybe done the Aqua Patch, put the DC down. Maybe If you play Zombreon, you might play Hammers. What does this Absol do? I've seen some talk about it. Uh, Doom News. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I've seen some talk for Absol. Um, so it is Umbreon. Now, Umbreon will be a little harder to knock out, because with the Choice Band, we're only maxing it at 190. So we'd have to get damage on it otherwise. Okay, he judges me. All right, that's fine. As long as we can get a supporter here, then that play actually paid off. So, the weight, the weight worked. I mean, he had to, probably would have played Judge anyways. Okay, that, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Straight for 30. And he doesn't retreat. Fine by me. We can get damage on this thing. Uh, DCE. Yeah, really. Let's just use the Aqua Patch now. Don't want to draw into it. I don't want to end him when he only has four cards in his hand, too, but... I want to get, like, a Nine Tails. I want to get more Vulpix down, too. Alright, we didn't hit the Nine Tails. We actually got a lot we can do with this hand, which is pretty good. Uh, we can put down Vulpix... We're going to do Dive Ball for the Alolan Ninetales. Alright, so all of our Ninetales are in the deck, which is all I needed to know. It's all I need to know. So, that's good. And you know what? We can do this. Do we need the Rayquaza? I kind of want to put down Manaphy, though. Yeah, screw it. We'll get rid of Rayquaza. We'll grab Manaphy. Oh, yeah, it seems fine. Actually, no, we'll grab Octillery. I could have got rid of the Sika, but, it's, you know, you never know, right? Like, if I got rid of it, what if we don't draw on any supporter? So, that's fine by me. We'll go Abyssal Hand. We can also get one water on. We can probably knock him out next turn, which it looks like we might be able to do after all. So, we can go Turbo Storm for 30, which allows us to do not enough. We need 10 more damage, but all we gotta do is find a Choice Band, which is very likely. He could Dark Call me. That would send me back, but then we would just put the energy right back on. And, oh, he actually goes for the Shadow Bullet. Okay. That's fine. I think I'm just gonna put a DCE on. Nine Tails. Alright, now, if we whiff Choice Band, actually, this is going to be kind of bad, or if we whiff, like, a... Oh, pfft. I say we whiff Choice Band, and the first thing we top deck is a Choice Band. And we got Octillery for one, sure. I don't really know. He's not going to knock on my Vulpix, so that seems fine. I'm going to land him to five. He does have, I think, he has, like, seven cards in his hand, so... We'll hit him with an end of five here. And, ooh, now that is what I like. Lucky for you, that is what I like, hand. Alright, we can put down Brookwood Hill. Why not? I kind of wish I was a rough seas, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. 
Uh, yeah, we can put down Manaphy. Sure. Put down you, and we will put down you. And yeah, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. We could just Blizzard Edge and uh, take him out, and all we have to do is lose our double colorless energy. I do want to get those Rayquazas back, because they could play a big role down the road, but we can take out this Umbreon GX, take two prizes, and there we go. Looking good. Looking good. I'm going to have to just take this thing out again, though. Like, <laughs> he conceded. Oh my god, he conceded so quickly. <laughs> my screen, like, went blah. I was like, what? what why did my screen get so dark? And I was like, he conceded that quickly. But yeah, Lola Ninetales is a threat. You can see how the Rayquaza could actually work. We powered up our Vulpix fairly quickly and allowed us to pull off a crazy Ninetales play that quickly, which really helped us out. So that was a pretty pretty good turn, if, you, if I do say so myself. And uh, here we go. We are playing against a... Hmm, I think it's Vespaquin, because Fairy with Klefki. Uh, it could be Mega Guardi, too, I don't know. I don't know. Eh, hey, Cyndaquil, why do you let us down? Why do we even have a Cyndaquil coin on a water deck? Why is that now Totodile? I just realized. Why Why is that the coin? Okay, now, I don't know where our supporters are. <laughs> Hopefully my opponent will or maybe nice and end me. We do see a Mulligan. Oh, it's Aerodactyl? But he had Lightning, Water, and fairy in his deck that's not i'm it's not adding up sylveon too huh okay now i'm even more confused <laughs> i'm even more confused to what my opponent is running i i mean i guess it's disruption because i aerodactyl does get rid of a special energy so i'm guessing it's disruption oh, come on you give us a handful of balls <laughs> you don't give me an n or a sicka really game come on how are you gonna do me like that that's just not fair Hopefully this dude doesn't play many, like, disruption cards, like Flare Grunts and Skull Grunts, which could be very bad for us. Could be bad. But the thing is, though, is Aerodactyl does require quite a few cards to try and get into play. Like, you need an Old Amber Aerodactyl, which aren't always going to hit. You also need to have Fossil Excavation Kit, which at the moment, I think it's currently broken on this game. Not, like, broken, like, overpowered broken, but, like, I think the card's, like, really glitched right now. So, I mean, maybe that glitch can come in our favor sure i mean not really like cheating but you know the glitch wants to happen he does retreat which is kind of interesting i can get 30 damage on him old amber please fail yes nice aerodactyl does do enough to take out rayquaza which is kind of funny a giant dragon can get knocked out that quickly oh okay now i see you game that's the top deck i was looking for we can just burn every card in this hand i kind of want to don't really want to waste my aqua patch we can put down a entire bench if we really want to i'm not going to I'm not going to obviously do that. Alright, one of our memories is prized. Oh, one of our whole picks is prized. Hmm. How do I play this? I kind of don't want to lose all my die balls so early on, though. It kind of sucks. Yeah, we grab second full picks. We could use Glaceon, too, but he has Aerodactyl, so, I mean, that that kind of just, that play goes out the water. Speaking of water, I wish I was discarding water energies here so I can put them on a Turbo Storm. Now, the question is, do we put down Brooklet Hill? I think we do. Like, I... You can't use Brooklet Hill to get, like, Aerodactyl in play, so that's fine. I think I'll grab Rayquaza. Because Rayquaza isn't too bad in this matchup. If he does play cards to get rid of my energy, at least we have that. Um... I could walk into the Lincoln, but I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just gonna get that Manaphy down. Got a full bet. Look at that. We filled up our entire bench in one turn. And we aren't even done our turn yet. I don't think we'll be able to get any energy in our discard. We've used up an Ultra Ball, and yeah, that kind of sucks, so. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Um, but what I am going to do is do this, and then I'm going to be able to hit him for 80 here, or 60, and then, you know, go from there. Get 60 damage on this thing. I don't know if he plays Max Potion or not. If he already plays Aerodactyl, he's already kind of clunked as it is with all the cards he needs to try and get that into place, so. Because even Puzzle of Time would work with Aerodactyl, too. So, maybe we'll be fine. And luckily, Sylveon only does 110 damage. So, he actually can't knock me out um, in one hit. Unless, like, even a choice band. He'd have to do either Kikui or Bats. I don't know. So, our Rayquaza should live the turn. And that seems good. Our hand... Mm, wait, are we knocking him out here? We're doing 110. Parallel. Ay, ay, ay. What do we get rid of? Manaphy... Nah, we'll keep Manaphy. We'll get rid of Rayquaza, and I guess we'll get rid of a... I guess we'll get rid of Vulpix. Sure. Aye, right, that's fine. We got Rescue Stretcher. We still have a Rough Seas. Maybe my opponent might delinquent, too. You never know. 
Great win. All right, we're doing 110. Are we actually knocking him out? No, we're 10 short, aren't we? I think we are. Yeah, I think we're unfortunately 10 short. Because we're doing 110. If we do QE, we're going to do 130. Wow, we are 10 damage short of taking out his... Um, we're 10 short of taking out a Sylveon with Rayquaza. That's kind of tragic. <laughs> if we did a double Kikui, we would have knocked him out, which would have been awesome to do, because Dragon Claw would actually be able to knock out Shaman. But yeah, you can't always win. Do a Field Blower, which is kind of nice. I think we can play that. I don't know what tools my opponent plays. Maybe Choice Band, but he's already too shy me, so who cares? We could also wait to play that, which I might do. Actually, yeah, we'll do it. That's fine. We'll play that. Um, sadly, we can only get rid of one thing. If you had a tool on, we would have been nicer. That's fine, though. I'm gonna go here, draw more cards, Octillery. I'm gonna get me another Alolan Vulpix. I think if he does another parallel, I'm just gonna have to get rid of Mana Fee. It kind of leaves our Octillery trapped, but that's fine. I could have Field Blowered, but I don't want to get rid of my Choice Bands. Alright, we Hidden Energy. Which I don't really want to put down, though, to be honest with you. I kind of want to make my opponent think that I don't have that. He might play Hammers. I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. Especially with Aerodactyl. You never know. We could see some crazy play. I think I'm fine with just putting two basic energies on for now. That's fine. Yeah, so, I mean, I could also parallel away my Vulpix. Manaphy might be more important for the Octillery. We do have DC, though, so our Artillery isn't really going to, like, not retreat for free anyways. I don't know. Like, he could try and stall Artillery, but I doubt that'll happen. <laughs> He's going to knock me out anyways. Like, unless this dude... I you do have 19 cards. We could see, like, Crazy Team Rocket's Handiwork shenanigans. I don't know. Uh, we could actually just take him out with Ice Blade, which I think I'll do. Ooh, he is going to take out my Manaphy, though. Hmm. Ooh, plea. Wow. What's he putting back? Okay, Octillery and Nightdale. Alright, I'm not gonna... That's fine. We can do that. We can put him back down. We get the retreat for free, and that's fine. I mean... Do we knock him out? 80. Hmm. Is there a way to attack with the Rayquaza? I don't think there is. Yeah, there ain't. Yeah, there is no way to attack with Rayquaza. That did slow us down a little bit. I don't want to do Sika either. Hmm. Wow, that actually set me back a little bit. Holy cow. That's fine, though. I wasn't expecting him to do that. I was kind of expecting him to maybe do, like, Magical Ribbon. That's fine. We can do that. And if... I mean, that is his GX attack, right? So, that seems fine. I'm not really too worried about Sylveon right now. <laughs> Now, one good thing we could also do is if he does do a Fairy Wind to my Ninetales, we technically could just return it to my hand immediately. Um, no, what am I saying? If he does, what am I even saying? But we, if he does 110 to me, we can actually then use our Lysander from our discard and use the Ice Path on his Shaman, which will be pretty good. So maybe we can do that. I don't really need to end. I don't really want to use any cards from his hand. You know, at least we can just take him out with an Ice Path. He didn't get a Sylveon down, I just realized. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> okay, I'm sure. I'm just going to hold on this hand. You know, my opponent could easily... I kind of want to get another Vulpix down. Or another Ninetales down, but that's fine. We can probably sweep him with one Ninetales. Uh, that's fine. We'll take him out for 50, and then... We got Lysander shenanigans of the Ice Path. We have Ice Path. That's always a play. We can take our... Oh, another Vulpix. Nice, and we got Aqua Patch. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Kind of wish we had more Ultra Balls in this deck. It'd be great in that situation to actually have done the Aqua Patch. We would have been really close to powering up Blizzard Edge. He might play Hammer, though, which I'm scared of. Has he played double Old Hammer? Nope, just one. It is Glitch, though, so I don't, I don't know if like he knew that was the thing. Right, does he get Aerodactyl, though? That's the question. He does. At least he has to pay to retreat, unless he does like a switch or something. Jolteon. Oh, he's got free retreat. Does he have a DC in his hand? Sika? Alright, is that gonna get him the D? Ooh, two. He's lost all of his. Oh my god, he's so. He's like out of Sylveons now. Does he find the DC? If he does, then, um. I. I mean, we can still do Ice Path if we can hit a DC off, of, like, our top deck. Okay, he didn't. Good. I think he's just gonna keep the Jolteon the active, which is fine. 
gives us time to put more energy back on our nine tails. So when he does do 120, we can just Lysander this thing. Rangaroo. He does have the end option, so we do have to watch out for that. Because we'll lose all these cards in our hand, which I don't really want to lose. I kind of want to just use this field blower now. Like, I don't know if it's even going to be that useful anymore. You know? Like, am I going to need the field blower? Alright, he passes. Fine. Alright, you know what? I'm through playing around. We'll do here. We'll go here. Hmm. We could live sand the Orangaroo. Maybe he doesn't have a float. He probably does, though. Nice. No, burned a switch. I don't know if anyone would want to use switch and float stone. I could. Nah, I need to save that live sand, though, for the ice wall. Yeah, I need to save that. I mean, we could do 50 and then maybe Kikui do 70, which is just enough to actually take out this Aerodactyl. That's a decent play. Now he concedes immediately. He's just like, nope. <laughs> Alright, let's check out his deck. Did he actually have float? Let's see. So it looks like it was like a Sylveon Aerodactyl deck. He had four Aerodactyls. I mean, it's not a bad idea, you know what I mean? I think it's a pretty decent deck idea. But, yeah. Not a bad. He only has six fairy energies. I think seven might be better in his situation, but that's fine. Um, but we do actually get a pack of cards, basically, with our 200 coins, which I'll buy at the end of the video. How long have we been recording for? 17 minutes? Yeah, we could do, like, another game or two. Seems fine. Maybe we can get the chests. I mean, I don't think we can. We'd have to do, like, three games or two and a half or something like that. Um, so I don't know if we can actually get that chest. We'll see. If we can, we can maybe do, you know, get enough coins. I don't really want to burn literally 200 coins and not have any coins to use for trading. So that's something I kind of want to not use. But I think I have two deck videos lined up anyways for the week, so it's all good. Oh, wow, our hand is abysmal right now. Maybe we have to do a Kikui or even Hex Maniac. My opponent is going first, though, I think. So maybe we, you know, be like, yo, fam, hit me with an end or something. Please give me a nice new hand. Looks like we are going to be playing against a Mega Gardevoir with Brilliant Arrow, which is a fairly interesting matchup. He does have a, he can, does have potential to one-shot me. Ooh, he's going straight for the Guardian Spirit Link. Interesting. Because hmm. I know, like, a lot of Spearling players, a lot of Mega players, will probably want to play a lot more tactically now. Like, when they realize they put their Spearling down, they're at risk of getting a Field Blower. And I think a lot of decks are going to play, like, two Field Blowers now, over one. So I think putting the Spearlings down straight away is not a good idea. If he puts, like, even more Spearlings down, and we hit our Field Blower, I have no problem getting rid of those Spearlings and then slowing them down even more. Even though Xerneas is already, you know, slow enough, that's fine. He's got this blinged out deck, and he doesn't have secret ultra ball. That's kind of sad. Like, I don't even have the blinged out, like, Max Lixir plays, but he does. He's got a lot of energy down, too, which isn't fun. Because Mega Gardevoir does one-shot me, and it does get around my Ice Path DX, which is, I guess, something you do have to get started with Nine Tails, as it doesn't always work. Plus, it is hard to one-shot those Guardies. Um, my opponent had a pretty good turn. Ooh, fresh up the top decks. Ah, right, yeah, we go sick. That's fine. We can hit a Field Blower. I can slow him down. I don't think, yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't even get a Remoraid either. Kind of, oh, we have one in the active spot, what am I saying? <laughs> I thought we had, like, another Vulpix in the active for some reason. Oh, uh, man, be sure. I don't think it matters. Well, I'm, uh, Ninetales already a GX Pokemon, it's not like the two prizes really make a difference. I'll pass. You know, this hand's not too terrible. We can maybe do the Sika. We can actually do a lot, maybe, with, like, Manaphy. We might be able to actually attack him this turn. It's possible. Max Lixir, hopefully that doesn't hit. It does, great. Does he get a Mega Gardevoir down too? And it looks like he will get a Mega Gardevoir down. Why? I don't know why this tool is saying like X. It doesn't make any sense. Sicka. Alright, hopefully this guy like loses a bunch of important cards. Like, I don't know, anything. Lysander and Xerneas. Okay, those are actually cards I don't want to see him in the discard pile. Wait, is he used to be a Seekers? No one. Max Lixir, hopefully that doesn't hit. Oh, it don't hit. No, it does. Dang it. Man is getting lucky with his Max Lixers. This is going to be a really tough matchup. Um, the fact that he one-shots me is really bad, and the fact that we might set up a little slower is also really, really bad. I might just have to sit back and... Oh, but he can just lie, Sander. Ah, there's no point. Um, hmm. I think we just go Sika again. Maybe we can hit an Aqua Patch. I might just go Beacon here, if I can find another Vulpix. Yeah, that's fine. We didn't even Ninetales. Wow. Getting a little unlucky, guys, I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, yeah, we'll put the water energy onto that Vulpix. We'll go Brooklet Hill for a Vulpix, and we'll go Beacon for two Ninetales. That seems fine. Alright, keep the Octillery in the act. I don't really want to lose Octillery, though. I'm going to put down Rayquaza. Go Abyssal Hand for one. I don't know what we're going to find here. I don't know what I'm looking for either. Water? Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we go Beacon, and yeah, I think I'm just going to grab myself the two Alolan Ninetales. I could even hold in the active. If I can hit a DCE, I can, you know, start doing Ice Blade Snipes and try to get damage on those Gardevoirs, which is pretty good. I don't know if he plays Experience Share either, or if he plays Dragons too. So we got to, you know, keep those in consideration if he plays, like, Dragons and whatnot. So we got to watch out for those also. I think, yeah, if we, if we get 50 damage on thing quickly, that'd be nice. Lyo, okay, yeah. Ultra Ball. I'm kind of scared of that Lysander, though. Like, if he powers up that Gardevoir and Lysander's me out first, that could be bad. Mega Turbo, oh my god. Look at how much energy he has in play. Holy cow. And two, no. Dang it. Am I going to hit a Ninetales and a DCE, though? That's make up for that. Yep, okay, we got it. Three waters, so holy cow manure. And we still have our Aqua Patches, so we've only used one, so that's not the end of the world. He's going to Fairy Garden. Mm. If he attacks me here, then... Oh, he's actually doing it. Kikui. If we can hit our Via Seeker, we will actually knock him out. Can we hit our Via Seeker? I really want to hit it. If we find a Via Seeker, we will be able to Kikui and take him out. Come on, Via Seeker, don't let me down. Oh, I don't even think with Octillery we can draw enough cards either. I don't think we can draw enough cards even with Octillery. We can draw one card, I guess. Let's see. How many Via Seekers? Oh, two Aqua Patcher Prize. Okay, that, that explains all. Okay, all of our Via Seekers in the deck. If we can hit one of them, we will be able to knock them out here. So, hopefully we can hit it off of this one card. Abyssal Hand for one. It's gonna warm my hands up. Alright, here we go, Abyssal Hand. I'm gonna crack my knuckles. Ah, here we go. One card, and it has to be a Via Seeker. Come on, do not do this. Probably not gonna be a Via Seeker, let's be real. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> That's fine. We can respond with a nice blade knockout, I guess. Sure. Man, got unlucky. He's gonna knock me out regardless. So, we'll get rid of the DC, I don't know. Dang, we can even take him out Rayquaza, but we could just risk getting and Dang, man, the Octillery. Even the hand warm-up didn't pay off. If we had that Via Seeker, we would have had a KO. Oh, no, he had Olympia. Well, there goes the Rayquaza play. He still has 50 damage left. So we can still take him out with Ice Blade. So that's fine. I might, I mean, maybe we attack him with a Rayquaza. I don't know. Hmm. He just did that to heal. Heal didn't really matter, though. Because we're still going to take him out with Ice Blade. We can maybe top deck our other choice band. I can take him out with a Rayquaza. Which actually wouldn't be too terrible. I don't know, though. I don't know. N. Yeah, I think, man, yeah, I think that's fine. I'm going to try and take him out of the Rayquaza here, and him to three, choice band, oh, kind of close, I think I'm just going to put down the other mana fee, we might be able to draw into it, I don't know, I've only drawn one card though, it's a tr this is a tricky matchup guys, I'm not going to lie, this is a really tricky matchup, alright, come on, choice band, Ugh, DCE, really, if he has the uh, Lysander in his hand, I think we lose, so I don't think Rayquaza is going to be enough to really, you know, take us the win. So if he has a Via Seeker, I think we lose and I'll just concede. He's got three of them left. We end him to three. I gotta hope he doesn't have it. It's possible, though. Ultra Ball? Oh, is he slow rolling? No. Okay. Grabs another journey. Is his other last card in his hand like a Sycamore or something? It is. Wow. Yeah, of course, though, he gets a Sycamore off an end to three, though. Just my luck. Just my luck on this game. We don't have another end though too. We can't respond with like an end to two, which also isn't very good. Alright, Rayquaza, you put in the work. Sadly though, I think we're screwed. He has another Gardevoir down. Oh my god. How do we win this? No, Sycamore, I don't want to see you. Oh no. I don't see how we're going to be able to win at this point. I was thinking, I think we can lie, Sander. Oh my god, and there's our choice ban. Okay, kind of came in handy a little down the road. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. You know, this matchup was a little tricky. 
kind of sucks, but uh, we put up the fight. We, we put up the fight, but sadly, just we couldn't really pull through and beat this Gardevoir deck. I think we got a little unlucky with some of our draws. Like, if we were able to get the Choice Band and, like, the QE, we actually would have been not in a terrible position. We would have been in a lot better position than we are now. But unfortunately, it's just the way the boat floats. And just to save this video time, I'm just going to concede right now. So we'll find one more game with this deck, I think. I think we can do one more game. That's fine. I want to do a little longer video, too. So we'll do at least one more game with our Ninetales deck and see how it goes. Playing against another water deck. Is it going to be Ninetales? I don't know. I guess we will find out. But Lola Ninetales, I think, is really good. The budget deck could be good. I mean, lose the coin flip. Cyndaquil, why do you always let me down, man? Why do you always do this to me, Cyndaquil? I treat you so nicely, Cyndaquil. I, I use you more than the Todal coin right now. But sadly, you just you let me down too much. Now, I think it's going to be either Water Box or Nine Tails. I think it's going to be Nine Tails. Uh, I guess maybe I, I might be Water Box. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Do we put Nine? Nah, we don't need Glaceon. It depends. We'll see if we'll need the Glaceon. We could use it for Nine Tails, obviously. Gyarados. Huh. Interesting. I know. Ooh, he puts the Spearling down right away. That's a misplay. You play a Mega Deck. Again, I think you just shouldn't be putting the Spearling down straight away because you'll just walk into an easy. Thing. Ooh, gets rid of two waters. That's obviously going to set up an aqua patch, which isn't too pretty. But yeah, I think if you're playing a mega deck, I wouldn't bother putting those spearlings down and waiting. I know that could be really clunky with N and stuff, but still, he puts the rough seas down. He was nice enough to do that. Gyarados does still struggle to one shot, which is pretty good, even with like aqua patch. So that's not too bad. I guess Glaceon is good in this matchup. I mean, he could still use Gyarados. He probably plays maybe like a couple Lapras, maybe his own Glaceon too. He's putting so many cards down, though, especially the Shaman. That'd be perfect for Ice Path GX. Hmm. I kind of want to put more tools down so I can just hit him with a Field Blower. Water. Okay, at least he can't do Stormy Seas. The Stormy Seas gets going. It's going to get ugly. Looks like he will end me, though. So, that's fine. I mean, I kind of did like this hand a little bit, but... Whatever. Let's give me a new hand. Maybe if we can still get a better hand, we can at least use that as, like, a double supporter turn. So, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. One mana fee, though. It's not really the greatest. I don't really think he's going to knock me out next turn unless... Oh, he's putting the two links down. What the heck? Why would he put down Shaman? Wow. I am very surprised right now. Very, very surprised. Because now I'm going to punish you for, for doing that, fam. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Now I'm going to make you lose those. And we will hit you with an end. I need to find another Remoraid and a Volt Pick. So hopefully we can hit one here. If not, we'll beacon for it. We don't. We don't hit. We do get a Choice Band. I'm going to hold on to that, though. I'm not going to put it down right now. We're not attacking with Volt Picks, so... We could do Icy Snow for 50. <laughs> Imagine that. I grab the... Ooh, that's why. Two of our Vulpix are prized. That is why. So I think we just grab the Remoraid and the Ninetales. Hopefully we don't get End, and uh, we can start going off next turn. That'd be good. So it seems good. I don't if you feel like losing to Aqua Patch. I think I'm just going to have to End him here. Now, now, the fact that we got rid of those Spearlings means he might not have another one. So... Like, his other one may be prized, you know? So maybe we can use that as, like, a, a good tool. So we'll see how that goes. He's going to need to try and one-shot my uh, a nine tails. Oh, his tails. That's perfect. I don't think he plays DCE either. We topped, like, a Remoraid. All right, look, Remoraid. I shouldn't have grabbed you. I should have grabbed the other Vulpix. Put both down. That's fine. Choice. I don't really want to do the Sycamore. I think I'm just chilling with Ice Blade for, you know, the 80. That's fine. Then we just knock him out next turn with Blizzard Burn. Gets the most energy off the board, too, unless he does, like, a crazy play on that bench Gyarados with Aqua Patch. I think I'm fine doing that. I didn't want to lose my two Aqua Patches right away. I think I'm going to hold on to them for, like, one more turn. Ooh, he's just going straight for Gyarados. All right. We are doing enough damage to knock it out, though, if we can find a Water, which... If we somehow whiff a Water, I swear, I swear to game. I swear to game. I swear to God. I swear to game. Sicka. All right. We're going to have to do it. we got to lose two of our Aqua Patches, but that's why we have Rayquaza in the deck. Can we please hit Water? We do. I was really worried we wouldn't hit one for a sec, but it's all good. We got it. We can grab ourselves the Alolan Vulpix, and we are looking pretty spicy today. Rescue Stretcher. Nothing in our discard right Yeah, We're good. We could put the Choice Band down and draw more cards Artillery, but again, I don't want to walk a Field Blower. Choice Band's really the best way we can take better KOs, right? So here we go, Blizzard. Blizzard Edge. Bye-bye, Gyarados. And hello to this DC. I don't know. But yeah, my opponent is in a bit of a pickle right now. Just because he just put that down, he's built up all this energy, and we just smoked it. So good luck. Um, yeah, my opponent 
probably in a bit of pickle. We just water the active, and then we can, you know, hit him with another ice blade. And uh, if he wants to attack me, we'll just ice path. I really do like using the ice path on Shaman, so hopefully we can actually do that play down the road. That might be the good thing to do. Again, my opponent's gonna need some spear links to be able to really pull off attacks, because he if he just ends his turn evolving, that's not really enough. He has Seeger. He's probably gonna hit me with an end to four. That's fine. We got two Octillaries in play, and doesn't even matter at this point because of the Octillaries. And hopefully we don't whiff energy. I guess DC is the best thing to have, so we could just keep the consistent Blizzard edges up. Hopefully we can hit the DCE. Nah, that's fine though. Got Aqua Patch. Alright, nice. So we just take this thing out. I think my opponent will concede after we knock out this Gyarados. Yeah, he just conceded way before. But, you know, I think we showed off the deck pretty well. We, you know, did pretty decent. We showed off some struggles, like that Gardevoir game. We showed off some good matchups against the, like, the Gyarados deck there. So, that, this deck definitely has the versatility. I like the budget deck. So, if you're new to the game, there you go, a little bit budget. Um, we'll buy one pack from the store. I'm gonna have to play a little bit more tonight, just so I can get more coins, so I don't, like, so I can actually, like, you know, buy more packs. So, we'll have to do that. But we will open one pack of Guardians Rising. And we better pull a either Tapu Lele or Tapu Coco. Either one I'll be happy with. I think Tapu Lele I'll be a little more happier about. So can we please hit the Tapu Lele GX? Come on, I know I'm not going to. I know I'm not going to hit it. We get a Politoed and a Lunala. A Lunala is another deck I want to look at for a budget video. And Politoed is a really cool card too. Sadly, we just we didn't hit it. We did get a Gliscor, which is another decent card I want to try out. So, yeah, you know, rip. Rip, rip the dream of getting the Tapu Lele, I mean, <sighs> kind of sucks, but yeah, I hope you guys ended up enjoying the video. If you did hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon Training Card Game online content. And yeah, I mean, this deck is pretty fun. I, you know, I think Ninetales will perform better down the road at tournaments, so there will be more room to actually use Ninetales in the future. Because I think definitely Ninetales is one of those decks that you'll see do good in tournaments, so... I'm definitely probably going to do more Ninetales decks down the road. Um, a more competitive version of Ninetales, especially after like, when I get a Tapu Lele Pokemon trading card game online. That would be really great. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our PTGO content. Help me on the road to 2,000 subscribers. That would be great. We will get there, folks. I really want to get there by the end of 2017. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys on another video, and peace out.